so in this experiment what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at the effect of IAA concentration on radish seed germination and the very first thing we're going to do is just set up our control so it's done and out of the way and the way we do this is we take a graduated cylinder and what we're going to do is we're going to have measured out nine milliliters of water this nine milliliters of water is then going to be added into glass jar number one and glass jar number one is going to very very simply act as the control so when this glass jar gets added to the petri dish with the radish seed later on this is going to be used as the control so it can show us growth comparison in comparison to all the IAA plates we're going to look at now we look at setting up our IAA concentrations so what we're going to do first is we're going to take IAA and we're going to measure out 10 milliliters of the stock solution that stock solution is then going to be placed into glass jar number one and this is going to be the glass jar that contains the largest concentration of IAA which will then be used to carry out a serial dilution for the rest of the glass jars again the big point of this experiment is to see what effect different concentrations have and the way we're going to measure this effect is by comparing the growth of the radish seeds in each plate to the control plate that we began with once we have glass jar undone which is done there now we can carry out a serial dilution and the way this works is we will then get our water we will measure out another nine milliliters of this water and then add it to glass jar number two but to get the serial dilation dilution started what we have to then do is we have to go back to glass jar number one and take one milliliter from that and add it to glass jar number two and what this does is it decreases the concentration to the power of 10. This is really good but by the time we get to plate number eight we wouldn't have been able to measure out concentrations that small using the mass balance scales. For each new glass jar we take about nine milliliters of water that nine milliliters of water into the next glass jar we go to the previous glass jar, we take a dropper, we remove one centimeter cubed, and then we add it to the glass jar we just filled with nine milliliters of water. And this then continues the whole way through from glass jar number one as far as glass jar number eight. Now, why are we using IAA? Because it is a plant growth regulator, which is going to greatly affect how the plant develops. Now, the really important thing to note is I'm going to keep using the correct dropper for every single one of these glass jars so that there's no chance of contamination and therefore the concentration will steadily decrease by a power of 10 as it goes through all eight solutions and then we'll be left with a really really low concentration in glass jar number eight in comparison to glass jar number one once we have the stock solutions ready we can now take the crest seeds and start adding these into the petri dishes now a few of these petri dishes have acetate grids but what i found in the past is that when the acetate grids are there they actually stop the growth of the seeds so in your leave insert you state that you added an acetate grid to measure the growth but really i tried not to put the acetate grid in too many of these because again it just limits the growth so what you see here is i'm adding crest seeds into each and every single one of the petri dishes and i'm going to add cotton wool in to soak up the solution that i add in so I drop about one centimeter cubed onto the seeds directly. Then I add the cotton wool and I pour the rest of the solution. I've just done the control and glass jar number one. I'm going to continue doing this for glass jar two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight until every single one of the petri dishes has their radish seeds and their entire solution present on the cotton wool. What I'll then do with these petri dishes is I'm going to take them and place them into an incubator for between three to five days at about 25 degrees and then what i'll do is i'll be able to get the results at the end of this process so after three to four days i went back and i took these petri dishes out of the and i noted the growth within each plate now as per usual this experiment is really hard to run and get correct but you can see there clearly that the radical had developed out of one of these radish seeds so I'm not overly concerned about what the actual results of this experiment were. For your leave insert, you need to understand that radish seeds that were in the petri dish with really high concentrations of IAA had stimulated shoot growth and inhibited root growth in comparison to the control, while the radish seeds in the petri dish with really, really low concentrations had inhibited shoot growth and stimulated root growth in comparison to the control plate. And that's what you need to be able to state.